Good morning, morning sippers. So how are you today? I'm doing pretty good. Um, I've already had my coffee this morning. Uh, I couldn't wait. Too many messages. Uh, <clears throat> so I decided that I'm gonna do live videos on Mondays and Fridays. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, I'll do pre-recorded and post. So you'll still get a daily, but I'm just not gonna go live every day. Um, it's just easier to do pre-recorded. Can I get a message? Give me one card. Give me one card. What they need to know today. Give me one card. Okay. <clears throat> Entrepreneur. Self-employment suits your disposition. Whew. This for me. And intentions. Working for yourself allows you to better <clears throat> follow your intuition and divine guidance. We are your co-workers and teammates. So this is your angels who remain loyally by your side to ensure your success in all ways. So there's some of you guys who are entrepreneurs that are working a job and you are absolutely miserable and you hate it. Okay. I believe that you're getting this card because it is telling you that if you have an idea about a business or something that you should get to work on it because you are not someone who will be fulfilled by working for someone else or being told what to do by someone else. That is definitely for me, okay? This card comes to you because you're well-suited for self-employment. You have the ideas, the drive, and the self-discipline required for entrepreneurial work, yet self-doubts make you hesitate. The angels reassure you that you have what it takes to succeed as an entrepreneur. They will guide and support you along the way as long as you follow through on this action your success is assured so your success is promised it is it's written okay additional meanings for this card your ideas for a business are sound ease out of your present job by moonlighting with your desired business idea i did this for a long time <clears throat> um take action as you're guided with respect to career Okay, so this could even be telling you that you need to make a career switch. Um, take on a new position or role. Fully commit to succeeding in your business. So this means that no matter what, you work it until it's successful. Okay. So that's the message for today. Let's get into some cards. They are pre-shuffled, but I want to give them a few more shuffles. The energy is really chaotic today. I can tell from the way that the cards, I'm having a hard time shuffling <clears throat> the cards. And so that tells me that the energy is going to be kind of chaotic. You may have a hectic day today. Okay. So what you may experience today that's positive is the two of cups. So you may meet somebody today that is, is soulmate worthy. Okay. Um, we'll have to further clarify, but you can experience happiness and a soulmate connection that you're already in with this two of cups. Okay. Could be dealing with a water sign. What you may experience that's negative today is the death card in reverse. So there may be something that you're trying to get rid of or something that you're trying to get to go away. Maybe an ex, maybe an ex relationship that won't go away. Okay. Or a relationship that someone deems as a soulmate won't leave okay or won't leave you alone with this death in reverse or this could be a lack of transformation so this may be a soulmate connection for you and you you want it to work but there are things that need to change so the negative would be a lack of transformation because that death card in reverse is about non-transforming okay it could be dealing with a scorpio so a lot of water energy here and the advice from tarot is the four of wands. I feel like this is telling you to focus on stability with this four of wands. Also in the, uh, um, the traditional rider weight, it's two, it's two rows like that. Um, and most readers read that as a twin flame. So this is definitely a twin flame soulmate connection. Okay. Could be dealing with a fire sign, but this card also talks about celebration and stability commitment so 
I'm feeling like this is telling you to focus on stability, but we'll have to clarify further. Okay. Why is it two of cups? Okay. Okay. So even though this is a soulmate connection, somebody here feels like it's a burden with this 10 of wands. Okay. So I feel like positively, yes, this feels like a burden to you, but you deem it as worth it or you deem the connection as worth it. Could be dealing with a fire sign. Why is this 10 of wands here? So there's something, maybe, maybe this relationship has been an uphill battle and now you've gotten to the point to where, yeah, maybe a decision is being made here with that judgment card. Okay. More Scorpio energy. So maybe there, there's a decision that's being made today and that's what's positive. You see this as a soulmate connection. This relationship could have been an uphill battle. Okay. And maybe somebody makes a final decision today to fully commit to the situation. Okay. So that may be what you experienced as positive today. Negative is the death card, is the death card in reverse. So lack of transformation, lack of ending. Okay. The devil in reverse. So I feel like there's something, something or someone that you're trying to release here with, with this devil card in reverse. That's about releasing toxicity. There's something that you're trying to release, but it won't go away. So this is a person or a situation that you're trying to release. Could be dealing with a Capricorn. Okay. <clears throat> Queen of Wands. So there may be an, <laughs> so I feel like there's an X in this picture. The person that you're dealing with, their X won't go away. Is what I feel like with this Queen of Wands in reverse. And it doesn't look like she's going away today either. Okay. So that may be what the uphill battle was in this situation. Your person may have finally decided or may finally decide to leave this ex situation alone and fully commit to this because you guys feel like it's a soulmate connection. Negative, however, is this person that you're trying to release or that you guys are trying to release won't, won't go away today um, with that death card in reverse and the devil card in reverse. Okay. That queen of wands. <clears throat> Why is the queen of wands here? Why the queen of wands in reverse? Why is this Queen of Wands in reverse? Yeah, she won't release it. She won't release it with that Four of Pentacles in reverse. Um, <clears throat> you want this Queen of Wands to release this, and I feel like she's not doing that. She's not going to do that today anyway with that Devil card in reverse. She's upset. The Queen of Wands in reverse, she's pissed off. You know, it's a fire sign. So she's pissed and, you know, she's doing whatever toxic behavior she can do to cause problems in your situation. Okay. And that will continue as of today. Okay. So the advice is the four of wands. Why is the four of wands here? Why is the four of wands here? Why is the four of wands here? Okay, two cards came out. <clears throat> Nine of Pentacles, Eight of Cups. I feel like it's telling you to focus on stability. Okay, I feel like it's telling you to focus on stability. This offer has been a long time coming. Okay, it, it came slowly with this Nine of Pentacles. The Nine of Pentacles is somebody who is very slow and methodical. Everything they do is everything that they do is planned out. Okay, um, so it doesn't happen fast. So I feel like this has been a long time coming. Okay. I feel like this is telling you to enjoy it. I feel like it's telling you to focus on the stability of it because you both had a hard time walking away from this with this eight of cups in reverse. Okay. You both couldn't walk away. So I feel like the advice is telling you to just enjoy, enjoy it, celebrate it, focus on the stability of it. Okay. Let's pull some love Oracle. Give me any messages. Give me any love. Give me any messages. We had to read. We haven't had to read in that good in a while. Self indulgence. Focus on self, self work, time to heal, shadow work, self appreciation. So this is telling you to focus on, you know, even though this all is happening, to don't forget to focus on yourself and your self worth. Okay, because the more you elevate that, the the better people you attract to yourself. 
okay? Give me any other, any other messages. Ooh, I can't talk this morning. Give me any other messages that you have. Love. Unconditional love, self-love, oneness, passion, affection, and attraction. So I feel like definitely this is a definite soulmate love connection here. Okay? Definite love here. Give me a give me another message. Okay. The snake. Wow. Competition, enemy, clever, malicious. Look over your shoulder, the other woman. That's that Queen of Wands in reverse that I was talking about. Okay. Definitely not going away today. Nope. Not today. I want to pull Tesra's Tarot. Where are they? Oh, let's pull a few. <clears throat> Where is Tesra's Tarot? Also with that self-worth card, I'm, I'm thinking that it's telling you to value yourself and really evaluate what you're bringing to the job that you're working versus the value that you can bring to yourself. Because these jobs don't really value you, I'm sorry. And they don't pay you your worth. Um, give me any messages that you have. Give me any messages that you have. messages a divorce left them financially drained so there may be and that may be where that judgment card to, um is for because judgment also does signify a uh, divorce or contracts so they may so you may experience your person uh, being divorced finally today or the door divorce is final today okay but there will be some um, financial issues, especially with that four of pentacles in reverse, and then that knight of pentacles she's showing up as a knight, not a king. Give me any uh, messages. That ex could be making it really hard for this person to move on financially and doing it purposely. Okay. Puppet master, they are narcissists and pulling the strings. I feel like this is more so this ex dealing with your person. I don't necessarily feel, just looking at the cards, I don't feel like this is, this isn't your person doing this to you. I feel like that's their ex doing that to them, to be honest. Give me one more. Take control of the situation. I feel like that's for your person. They need to get some control of what's going on. You really can't take control of this, um, but they can, okay? And put yourself out there. And I feel like that means put yourself out there in terms of your business, your business idea. Start promoting. Um, even if it's putting yourself out there because you're making a career move or a shift, okay? I feel like that's what that means. So, morning sippers, I hope this was helpful for you, and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.